this video we'll be looking at the navigation bar in Blackboard Ultra. The navigation bar is found in every module. Once you have logged into Blackboard, you will need to select My Modules and Courses on the left hand side. This menu is known as the base navigation. You will see a list of all the modules that you are enrolled on. Select the module you would like to access. The module will open in a layer and the navigation bar is found at the top of the page. The first icon is the course content and this is where you will land when you access a module. The course content houses lecture materials, reading lists, discussion boards and Panopto lecture recordings. To submit coursework you'll need to go to the assessment section and then select the submit coursework folder where you'll find the submission link for each assessment. We also have a dedicated blog called Blackboard Help where you'll see a list of frequently asked questions and answers to help you with the use of Blackboard Ultra and other learning tools. The next icon is the module calendar. The module calendar will display due dates for tests and assignments specific to the module. The calendar can be toggled to a month view or a day view and you can filter upcoming due dates. Moving on to the next icon is the discussions and this is where you will find all discussion boards that have been created in the module. If you would like to take part in a discussion, click on the discussion and the new layer will open. The topic of the discussion will be displayed at the top. If you would like to type a response, click in the text box where you will be able to type your response and when you're ready to post your response, click on Respond. The gradebook will display your marks for assignments and tests for the module. For each assignment or test, you will be able to see the due date, status, mark, and if feedback has been posted. To view your feedback, click on the purple speech bubble, and then click on your mark, and here is where you'll see your feedback. The last icon is messages and here you will find messages that you have received and sent in the module. To view a message, click on the message and the message will appear on the right hand side. If you would like to respond to a message, click in the text box and type your message. You also have the option to send an email copy to recipients by checking the box. Once you're ready, click on send. If you would like to create a new message, click on the plus symbol and the message box will appear on the right hand side. Under the recipients heading, there is a text box where you can type your tutor's name or fellow students. You can type your message in the message box and you have the option to send an email copy by checking the box. When you're ready, click send. For further resources on Blackboard, you can visit blog.westminster.ac.uk forward slash blackboard help forward slash student. Thanks for watching.